Hot Rodding Fan, Monday Morning Racer here. Let's go inside the 864 Speed Shop. Restoration and fabrication happening in Anderson, South Carolina. Next. <laughs>
Monday Morning Racer here in the 864 Speed Shop. Caught up with the owner, Mark Burdett. Mark, look, tell me, what is the 864 Speed Shop all about? Well, we uh, we pretty much do anything and everything. We, we can build you a car from ground up. Um, as far as paint, we pretty much paint our own projects. Um, I don't do much outside paint work. Any kind of fabrication, uh, really nothing we can't do here. I mean, we have, you know, some of my equipment's older, but I have machine and equipment. Um, really nothing. I mean, you know, over here to the left of me is a chassis, ground up chassis. Um, it's, it's just pretty much a one stop shop. There's really nothing we can't do here. All right, Mark, with being able to do just about any and everything, how did you get here? Because I know you being family, you've got a history in motorsports, you've got a history being in the welding business, even the vinyl graphics business. So how did you get into the speed shop with the hot rods and building and fabricating? Well, Lee, you know, most of my life I've raced and uh, had hot rods growing up, uh, kind of did my own thing. Um, yeah, I was in the welding supply business for, for many years, um, but the road I took I wanted to be in my own business um, so I got in uh, graphic design I was in the graphic business for probably 10 15 probably 15 years um, and it served me well um, but I got to a point where I was just burned out and uh, I, I really wanted to focus on on hot rods uh, I was kind of coming to the end of my racing career so to speak um, and I had the opportunity to sell that business, so that's that's what I done. So I took that money, and I bought two '69 Camaros, one convertible, one hardtop, both four-speed cars. Within about a week, I made about ten grand. So then it's got me thinking, well, what 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 have I been doing all these years, you know? Um, but back then, um, let me let me back up a little bit. I've been full time now in the speed shop almost 10 years so we're, we're talking 15 years ago you could buy cars I mean nice 69 Camaros for a song and and you could make a couple grand in a week and so that's kind of how I got started just uh, buying and selling you know some people say oh he's a flipper well maybe I was um, then I decided I wanted to build a car and so we built a car and we won some shows and it just kind of snowballed from there we uh, I never really intended on being building cars for a living. I don't regret it. Um, I enjoy what I get to do every day. I'm thankful. I have great customers and I have a waiting list to get in my shop. So we're doing something right. Mark, you got some wonderful cars in here that you're working on rotating through the shop. Look, let's talk about a few of these projects. This beautiful red Corvette behind me. What's the deal with it? Uh, belongs to a really good friend of mine by the name of Mike Merritt. Um, Mike's on the car for many, many years. 67, four speed, 427, matching number car. Um, probably one of the most fun cars I've ever driven. Um, we've done everything to this car you can possibly do. I mean, it's, it's pretty much a new car now. Um, really, really not a lot to say about it other than, I mean, the, the car speaks for itself. Um, you can get in this car. It's been here for, for a while now. Uh, Mike's son had an altercation with the transmission in it. So we, uh, we had to rebuild transmission, get it back in the car and get it running. Uh, Mike's been out of town for a couple months. He's back now. Um, so this car should go home Monday, Tuesday, next week. Um, I, I'm gonna kind of miss it. I've been driving it to lunch every day, Mike. <laughs> it, you know, it's just a fun car to drive. Mark, you've got a car in here that is affectionately known as the Goonie Bird. It's this Falcon station wagon. It looks like you got a lot of work to do. Dive in on that project for me. Um, belongs to uh, Tony Gitzinger. Tony's been working on on the Goonie Bird um, for a few years now. Um, Chassis under the car was built by J. Ed Horton. Some of you race car guys and drag race guys will definitely know who that is. Um, it's, uh, it's a very unique piece, 62 Ford Falcon, two-door station wagon um, with about every upgrade you can think of. Um, it's, uh, he's going to use it for autocross and car shows. Tony's a big car show guy. 
Um, it's got a uh, uh, supercharged big Ford motor sitting under the hood, six speed. Um, pretty much everything that's done to it is one off from the from the gauge panel, um, with the exception of the Ken Dig door handles. Um, but everything else is is just pretty much one off. I mean, it's it's going to be a crazy car when it's done. It's definitely a rare car. And uh, Tony says he has a story why it's called the Goonie Bird. Um, so we'll we'll leave that to him because I really have no idea why the Goonie Bird, but it is what it is. Mark, look, that Charger, that white one, is a beautiful hot rod you've got sitting in, in here in the shop. It's certainly not a Challenger, but you have said that it has been a challenge to actually work on that it, thing. Tell us about it. It is, uh, I, I'm, you know, I love Mopar, I love Ford, I love Chevy. I'm a hot rod guy. I, I'm not a brand guy, I'm a hot rod guy. So we'll build you anything here in the shop you need to. But with that being said, some of the Mopar parts are very hard to get your hands on. Um, it's not like the Camaros or the Mustangs or some of the other stuff we do. I can normally have parts within a couple of days. Um, that beast has been here forever. We're within about a day or two of having it done and ready to go home. Belongs to a guy named Cubby Hall, super nice guy. Uh, known Cubby probably 15, 20 years now. Um, and that's his, that's his baby. It's, uh, but it has produce some challenges no doubt um i don't and don't take this wrong mopar guys but i i don't want to do another challenger for a while <laughs> we'll just leave it at that so. mark look it's been awesome to peruse around the shop here get it on film talk to you how are folks going to be able to get a hold of you so they might get their hot rod on that waiting list and in the 864 speed shop well first of all um i want to thank you for for coming out and as always i want to thank the good lord above because without him we would not be here doing this um the phone number is on the banner behind me um we're a small family owned shop it's me my brother and my son comes and helps part time um, so we don't have 10 or 15 guys. Um, I can't build you a car in a week. It's not possible. Um, I love the TV shows, guys, but uh, in the real world, it takes a little while for perfection, and that's what we strive for here. Um, I won't build you nothing that I won't be proud of. Um, if it leaves my shop and my shop names on it or my name's behind it, I'll be glad to let everybody know I built it. I'm trying, man. It won't come out. <laughs> that makes it fun. Check out the Monday mo Monday morning. <laughs> you got to you got to get away from my face, man. That's too that's hilarious. <laughs>